Okay. Where do we leave off? Uh, oh, yeah, the bottom of, uh, yeah, so we do a lot of Prusbul, Takonas Chachomim tonight. Um, how Takonas Chachomim works, what they have the right to do, what they don't have the right to do. Shibu the Rav Nosen, we have a little bit tonight. Okay, so Tanan. Yeah, Lamed Hayam Bebeis. Five lines up from the bottom. Um, yeah, so we were talking about Nidorim. That's what we left off with. That Nidorim, do you have to be Mefarit? Do you have, when you're trying to be Mata Neda from a Chacham, do you have to tell them exactly what the Neda was? So we had a Machloikis Amirayim as to what the Din is. So now the Gemara asks, right? Tanan, we learned in the Mishnah, Anoisin, Nashim Bavera, Apostle. So a, a Kayan who marries women Bavera, right? Uh, either a Grusha or a Chalutza. So he's puzzled to the Kuna. He doesn't become a Chalol, right? He only his kids become Chalol. But he becomes puzzled to do the Kahuna. As long as he's married to these women he's not allowed to be married to, then he is puzzled. Odd, but what, but he can, what he could do is that even before he gets divorced, he could promise that he's getting divorced, and then he can he gets uh, how do you call it re uh, reinstituted or whatever re he gets back in even before even while he's still married to them. Meaning, when he's married to them, he's puzzle. When he divorces them, he becomes kosher again. Right, kids that he has from this are not kosher and never can be kosher. But he becomes kosher again. But he, what he could do is he can make a neder that he's going to divorce them or not get hana from them, and then he could automatically be reinstated. Right? So again, it's not a nice enough apostle. Somebody who marries a coin who marries women ba'avera's apostle, actually either hana until he makes a neder of hana from them. But Tani Allah, and we learn neither. Yeah. Is this a practical example of what the Ark Sadiqim just said? The tshuva is a refuah shalema for the chet. Sounds like it. it. That's a good sushto. So it sounds like it. Yeah. Yeah. It sounds like it. Anyways. So, um, yeah. So, neither va'ivid yarid and megarish. What he could do is he can make a nether. He could do the avoida. He goes down from doing the avoida, meaning goes down off the misbeah. And megarish, and then he could divorce her. And that works. Meaning we take his word. Okay, we amr ain't it sort of the farad as a nether. And if you're gonna say that the kayan doesn't have to be a farad his nadarim, lay khushduma azulagabi chacham vashari lay. So maybe he's the kayan's gonna make a nether that he's never benefiting from his divorced wife, right? His previously divorced wife. Right? Then he's gonna he's gonna do the avoida, and then he's gonna go find the rabbi who's not gonna tell him. He says and he's gonna tell the rabbi, hey, I need to be mater nether, and the rabbi's gonna say, Okay, no problem, be mater nether. However, that works, but that's that's what that other sheet that says. Wouldn't I be aware of this and ask? Like, the fourth question would be, "Are you a coin?" Um. Yeah, but that's that. But he doesn't have to give that information. He doesn't have to. According to Rab Nachman, you don't have to have any information. And again, Rab Nachman's reasoning that you that the that the chacham should not have information. Because if he only has partial information, then he's going to be mad to the person's nether, and the person's going to think that the nether is hutter, and really it's not. All right? So anyway, so, um, yeah, so why don't we chayshu that he's just going to go to a rabbi who's going to be mad to nether? Even, I, I think, David, even if the rabbi asks him questions, he's supposed to plead the fifth, I think. Well, if he's not going to ask, if he's not going to, if he doesn't have to answer the questions, then we're not going to ask them. It's only if he has to, if he's going to answer Correct. them. But, but he shouldn't. He shouldn't. According to this, he shouldn't. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> anyway, so the kasha is, so you see that it must be, that uh, it must be. That you don't, that you do have to be mefaradit, and then there was no concern because the kayan, the chacham is not going to tell the kayan, okay, yo, you could be mata the nether. You can't be mata the nether, right? Because otherwise, you scam the whole system, right? So my answer is on Talmud Aleph now. The madrina labor rabim. We're talking about where he made, where he made the nether in public, right? 
when a, and like we said yesterday's daf, when a guy makes a nether in in the public, then he can't be mat the nether. Fine. So the Gemara says, "Honey, Chalamanda, Amanda, Amar Neder Shul the Berabim Ein Lo Yafara." That works according to the Shita that says that a Neder that was that they made a Neder Berabim. There's no Hafara. El Lamanda, Amar Yesh Lo Yafara. But according to Madama that says that it does have Hafara, Michael and Maymar. Yeah. So what what are you going to say about that? Meaning, there is a Shita that says that public Nedarim can be nullified. All right. Um, now, why the Gemara use the lashon of hafara? This is for Gershon. Instead of hatara, right? I don't know. Sometimes they interchange. Hafara is usually meant when the husband is matter the wives. So anyway, so what's the kasha? The the eteretz. So the madrina la al das lay al das rab. The kohen made the neder with the das of the rab. That is different than the madrina lay bir rabin. Right. The first teretz was that you, that he made the nether in public. The second teretz is this teretz is that he did the nether with the das of the rabbin. Right? Meaning the rabbin tells him, the way Rashi says it, the rabbin tells him, we're making you make a nether for our das. So since, since he's doing that, that, then that you can't nullify. Even according to the opinion that says that if somebody makes a nether in public, you can nullify it. But you cannot do hafara. Right? So therefore we're talking about where this koyin is doing it al das rabim. Now, if the island remembers, it's almost we're almost there. Yom Kippur, when we say before Hataras Nadar, meaning before Kol Nidre. Right, it's al das, it's al das hakohol. Right, that's that's what this means, I think. Right, we're we're saying that before we say that Torahs Nedarim, we're making Nedarim, we're making a Torahs Nedarim. Well, here we're talking about making a nether. This Gemara is talking about, but and by Kol Nidre, it's we're being matter the Nedarim, but we're doing it al das hakohol, al das makoyim al das hakohol. So therefore, it's much more strict. Yeah, Dom, yeah. So now the question is, um, what do you call it? Uh, how many people? When you're being, well, a second, I'll say one second. I jumped the gun. Let's do the next line. Yeah, Bahani uh, Mili, but this is only Ludvarashus. That's only to be matered for you know Ludvarashus, meaning the only reason why he needs. Um, to be matter the nether is because uh, I don't know he made the the tzibur made him make a nether he's not going to ball games anymore, right? For whatever reason it was taking away from his learning, so they made him make a nether that he's not going to ball games anymore, and now he decides he can't he can't handle he needs to go to ball games. So that's not a mitzvah. So then we're not going to let him be matter because he did it by the rabbim. Avaladvar mitzvah yesha fara. But if the reason why he needs to be matter nether is because for him to do a mitzvah, then he could be matter the nether. Why? What's a pshat? I mean, if either if you made a nether barabim, you can be matter or you can't be matter, right? So Taisa says, because Lachaira, the rabbim who made him make this nether, is going to be happy being matter the nether in order to enable him to do the mitzvah, right? Meaning, the reason, what, what's the lumdus? Why is it that if a guy makes a nether based on what the public wanted from him, so why is that nether no good? I mean, why? I mean, the nether is good. Why can't you nullify it? Because though you have a rabbim and you need a rabbim to to uh, to agree, which it's probably not going to happen that they're going to agree. But if the reason why you want to be matzah the nether is do a mitzvah, then the lechayra, the rabbim, is going to be happy with him being matzah the nether. So therefore, you could be matzah the nether. All right. All right. The question is, do you need everybody that was there? All right. Let's say the tzibur that made him make the nether was a thousand people there, and they made him make the nether. Do you need to reconvene everybody, or can you just have a, a rabbin, let's say 10, or the way Rashi said yesterday was the rabbin is 10, or three, or maybe even two. Or it's not going to happen if you want to reconvene. It's never going to happen. Right, right, exactly. So that if you go with that, then you have a, you have a problem. <laughs> You're not getting everybody back. Right? Or do you say, no, you just need a rabbin, or a different rabbin. Um...
Yeah, so that's, uh, yeah. Fine. Uh, so now, then he says, because what's an example of this? Uh, an interesting Gemara here. Kiahu Mikri Dardiki, there was a guy who read to children. That's a literal translation, it means he was a Rebbe. The Adir Rav Acha Ladas Rabim. Rav Acha made him make a nether for the public's sake not to teach. All right? Meaning, so basically, he made the guy, the teacher, make a nether that, um, that if he teaches, if he doesn't stop teaching, then he's going to be Asr Bahana from everybody in the town. Right? So he made him make this nether, then that would stop him from teaching. So to have a Pasha Yanuki, so this teacher was a Pasheya and the children. Right? He wasn't, uh, which Rashi says, Chayftin Yoyser Midai. He was hitting them more than more than was sufficient, because back then they hit children. Nowadays, all the all the paiskim and all the mechanchim, everybody says we don't hit kids, right? It's a totally different door. But back then they did. But he was hitting too much, right? That's what Rashi says it. But Hadra Ravina, but Ravina took it back. He was mata the nether and he took him back as a rebbe. The lo yishtakach the diakavase because he couldn't find anybody who was such a good rebbe. Right, this, this is, is quite a a of sweeping. This is the source for sweeping things under the under the rug. This is this is exactly the source, my friend. What should I tell you? This is the source, right? Or is taking a guy who's not on the up and up and using him as a mechanic because there's nobody as good as him. Now it doesn't say that the guy was a terrible mechanic. He just he was the Rashi way Rashi understands it as he was. He hit them too much, right? It didn't sound like he was doing a, a capital offense, right? It's just a little too, he was doing too much. So then all things being equal, so they decided to reinstate him. Right? Ramatis show many years ago was asked about hitting. And he says, really, maybe make it in, uh, the person once in a while could do it. But since this Today, the dar, we meant in the last maybe 20, 30, 40 years, since the dar looks at it as you hate me, so maybe you can't hit him. Yeah. Okay, that's the way he said it. That's the way, that's the way he yeah. said it. So it's, it's, that's what, that's what Rashi is saying. Yeah. Well, I, back then, well, hitting, if, if somebody does hit a kid, it can't be done from anger. That's partial. Right, right? No, 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 right. That's for sure. No, but even if it's not done of anger, it's it's, true. It's, you hate me, finish. You can't, it's off limits. Right, but I believe personally, but I don't know if this is true and I don't want to get stuck on all this because I have no idea what I'm talking about, but I believe the reason why it became that kids of anger, took of offense anger. is because most of the time when they were hit, it came from anger not from a good place. And Mamela, the kid, felt that. But if the if the hitting would have been done properly, then maybe we'd still be able to have it. That's all. That's uh, But I have no idea if that's true or not. From my experience, it is. Yeah, Every time it was slammed throw, with a ruler or a door or whatever it was slammed with, it was out of anger. Yeah, of course it's out of anger. My yeah. Rikim and Ertesoro used to say that um, the same thing with yelling at a person. It's got the same din as hitting. And I remember some a guy in the base majors did something so unbelievably chutzpah that the Rosh Hashiva yelled at him, turned bright red, and he said, you want to know why I can do that? He went like this, and he started laughing. Because like, you can't actually be angry. You have to show anger. <laughs> when you're good. actually angry, you go too far. That's pretty good. That's not a, that's a madrego. But anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. But sometimes anger, yelling could actually be worse than hitting, right? Anyways, okay. Fight the verbal abuse. Is, is, there's lots of that, too. That, that, unfortunately, we let, in America, we let it slide. In America, you can backstab, you can talk Lashon Hara, do everything. I'm not talking about in the, by Yidin. As long as you don't hit, you can, uh, you can schmatter the guy. Yeah, I, I actually one time saw a psychologist say like he mom has said he said that people don't realize he writes about it. He says people don't realize like verbal abuse can be way worse than hitting 
And, you know, he, he wasn't advocating for hitting, but he was saying that using force to impose the fact that, let's say you're the adult in the room or whatever it is, can be much more beneficial than sitting there and just yelling at your kid endlessly and getting nowhere. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, I mean, you got to have guts to say that, but uh, yeah, it could very well be. Could very well be, right? The whole phrase, sticks and stones may break my bones and, and names will never harm me is not, it's negative the Torah, I think. In the Torah, I think the verbal is worse, but whatever, you could be over Mori Surim for sure. Anyways, okay, so that's why they took him back. So the bottom line is Maskana Sadvaram here is that when it's Birabim, when I make when you make a nether Birabim, you can you cannot take the nether back unless it's done with a rabim and unless it's done for a mitzvah. Right? Um and that's actually the machloik is how we paskin with the shaila of how many people have to be there in order to be mounted in nether. So that's that's a that's a machloik. Fine. Okay. Right. So we said that the edim, right? Um, they sign on the get for tikkun oilam. So the Gemara says mitnei tikkun oilam. The reason that this was a, a Rabbi Gamliel's takana to fix the world that edim sign. Tairaisu. It's a dairaisa that uh, for Adam to sign. They say a kosam a sefer a kosam, and they write, they write it in a sefer and they sign it. Right. And this is talking about a pasuk in Yirmiyah, when uh, by the by Bavel, when the when Bavel was when they were attacking Yerushalayim. Yeah. So and he said that you're gonna everybody's gonna get their their karka back. All right. And he said, the, you're going to have to sign on whose fields is what, et cetera, et cetera. So you see that signing, that, that whole concept, it's interesting that it calls it a derisa, right? It's, it's from Nach, but that's... Uh, but, hey, but isn't that... that Gemari Kedushin brings this pasuk, and it says, the glory milsa of what Ksiva is. So Ksiva means Ksiva. Well, that's a different issue, right? Well, the, what what exactly? No, but this pasuk, that's what we use this pasuk for to tell me yeah. that when it says kasev by shtar, it means kasima. Yeah. Okay. Right. So right. So then right. So then this thing. So that what this pasuk is telling us is that there's a concept of signing with the actual Adam. So what are you saying that it's Rabbi Gamliel who came along to do it? They've been doing it since Yirmiyah's days. So Marabba Leitrichel Rabbi Lazar. We go back to Rabbi Lazar. We haven't had him in a few days. Right, going to Rabbi Loza, the Omar, Edim Mesira Karti. That according to Rabbi Loza, the main Edim on the get are not the Edim that sign on the get. It's the Edim that see the get being handed over. So according to him, there's no, you really don't need a signature. So the Kinu Rabbanon, Edi Chasima, so Rabbi Gamliel said, and it's interesting here, they call it the Rabbanon said, that you do, should have Edim sign on it, Mepnei Tikkun Oilam. Because Tikkun Oilam, why? What's the Tikkun Oilam? The Zimnin, the Maisi Sadi, sometimes. Um, they're gonna my, they're, they're gonna die because the Adam that saw the get being handed over will be dead. Or they leave town, right? They moved out of town. They're the only witnesses to this get, and therefore this woman who wants to prove that the get is legit because the husband starts saying that it's not, that wasn't a legit get, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and now this woman is got nobody to be simachan. Like this, if they once they were masakin that she signs the get. Right, so now she has signatures, and signatures can be proven even if even if the Adam are dead, because you can go to other people and say, "Hey, you recognize these signatures?" They say, yeah, "Yes, I do." That's so and so signature, and then you have you have a way. So that's why it was a big tikkun oilam. So again, the Gemara is going according to Rebbe Lazar, who holds that you don't need Adam to be signed on the get. You really only need Adam to see it handed over, but it would be a big problem for the women. All right, so therefore. They uh, were masakin to have uh, there would be a big problem for them to confirm the Adam. So like this, they got Adam to sign, and then it's much easier to confirm the validity of the get. That's one territory. You could even say it's going according to Rameyer, who holds that you do need Adam to sign on the get. So then what's the Khidish Ram Gabliel? So Skinu Shia Adam Mafarshan Shmaisayan Begitin. So they were masakin that the Adam have to actually literally means explain their names in the Gitten. Meaning they have to they have to actually write who they are. Because like we learned, 
they used to sign their name. It's me, Pliny. Pliny meaning literally, right? He didn't, he didn't write his name. He just wrote, I signed on this, which is just basically a confirmation that somebody saw this get, right? Um, so then if they could prove his handwriting from someplace else, like what they could What would do be the point of writing just the word Plony? Because it's all you're saying is that there was somebody there who confirmed. Oh, you don't, it doesn't make a difference who it is. Correct. Who cares? Right? Who cares? Right? There just has to be someone there to make sure it was kosher. Correct. So you have it. And he just writes that he's a John Doe. Right? It was John Doe. Fim Lav Puzzle. So if you could, but then what happened was, so if you could prove that these signatures were legitimate, so then fine. Fim Lav. But if you have nobody to confirm it, then the baguette is going to be puzzle. So he says, we're going to make a big takana. They should actually put their names in the get. Because of the tikana ilam. Right? Because then you'll have a much easier time getting people that recognize these people's names and say, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's an, he was an aide on the get. So both, so going to both shot them here, they are. Um, they can, they, they, they not can, they do fix the world by making it easier for the woman to get a confirmation of the signatures. So then what it says, we see monoloi, and they don't allow to sign on the get with just the simon, just the sign, meaning like an X. Rav would, he had a fish, a fish was his sign. Right? And Rashi says he didn't sign his name. He just put a fish there. Rav Hanina Tsayar Harusa. And Rav Hanina would, would draw a Harusa as a, a palm tree. Rav Chista Samach. Rav Chista would, say, would write the letter Samach, I guess the standing for the, for the second letter in his name. Rav Hoshia, Ayin. Rav Hoshia would put a, 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 I don't know if it means an I or it means the letter Ayin. Right? And Rav Huna, I think it means the letter Ayin. Letter I lechayra means a letter ayin, but uh, but I don't know. I'm saying, but why? Maybe not. I mean, it goes it goes with the shakalataria. My rabbi Rav Huna tsayer makusa, and Rav Huna would say he would write a uh, a sail like the a sail from a boat. Whatever it is, you see that they didn't sign their names. So my answer, Shani Rabbanon the Bikiyan and Simna Simanayu the Rabbanon that's they're Bikiyan, meaning everybody knows since the Rabbanon, I guess even back then also signed Kol Kairos, etc. So everybody knew that what what sign the rabbis had. So therefore, that would be like an actual signature. Okay, so the guy we're gonna ask me, Karb Afkenu, how did everybody find out about that their signs? Meaning they have to know about their signs. Because they signed on documents, right? So yeah, could I them cards already. <laughs> uh, maybe. <laughs> What's that thing? No, maybe. Is that cards we got from Yeah. So, yeah. whatever. So they, they must have had that or ads in the paper. Like this is this. I don't know. But and it's like, it's an interesting question. Like who who which stars did they do initially? Which should have been no good. Meaning the Gemara is saying the reason why the Rabbanon's signature or lack of signatures is okay is because everybody knows who, who it is, right? But they only got to know it after how many shtaras. So that means the initial shtaras before anybody knew what it was should have been puzzle. So how that happens? The Gemara answers Bidiski. It's talking about Bidiski, which means regular letters that were not shtaras, right? Rashi says Shailas and Chuvas. So they used to sign their name off with Shilas and Chuvas. So since everybody got to know their Shilas and Chuvas, then, they, then when they saw it on, a, on, a, on an actual star, so they said, oh, we know that it's this person's signature, and, and, and that's enough. It's an interesting thing, like Ramosha Feinstein has a Chuva about uh, why we allowed to wear short jackets. It's Goyish. It's why is not a Goyim to wear short jackets? Right? We should be wearing long. That's what see them wear long. All right, because that's but it's Dad, you're, you're, you're being recorded right now. I am being recorded, correct? Right. So I'm saying it All right. So I think it's a true in I had a hard time finding it, but then I think I once found it. But either they say mm -hmm. it, or it's in a chuba. I think it's in a chuba, but I, it's mentioned about other things too. But so he says, because Lamaisa, the meaning nowadays, lots of you didn't wear short jackets. Right, but the Shiloh is on, on the on the Rebbe's yard site. Which oh, tonight's the Rebbe's yard site, Taka. But Chabad wears short jackets. 
Oh, don't they wear long? Don't they wear the Shabbos? Only Shabbos. Only Shabbos do they wear the long. Yeah. So anyway. Well, the first guy do it. The first guy right. So the it. first, but that's a Ramosh. I think Ramosh writes this, but don't quote me on it. But that who were the first guys to wear the short jackets? Those guys were wrong. Right? The same thing with the Marasayan in restaurant. Nowadays, people ask about eating traf- kosher food in, in trafer restaurants. The answer is you're allowed to do it because everybody that walks in says, oh, he got the he got the food from La Marais and he's not eating it at whatever steakhouse in the city that he's having the meeting. Right? Everybody knows that. It's not Marasayan. Good, but who's the first few guys to do it? Right? That's essentially what the, the, the Gemara is saying. So the Gemara has a, a way out here. They did it in a legitimate way. And the regular Shilas and Chubas that didn't need official signatures so then it was no problem. Fine. Okay. So that's, oh. that's, uh, but Seattle, do, uh, do, isn't it, is it, didn't the, the Hasidim also at some point get a lot of their clothing from the, the locale that they were in? Yeah, that, that's the Shaila. So then Viter, it's the same Shaila. Why is it, why are Hasidim any better? They, their hats came from their locale. It wasn't like, uh, it wasn't only the Hasidim that wore it. They're just 200 years. They're still stuck to 200 years back. But originally it was the same thing, no? It could be. I don't know. I don't know enough about the history. Well, we should be wearing turbans and, and captains, you know? I mean, honestly, could I'm, I'm not even saying it jokingly. Like, that's where, <laughs> that's where we came from. Could be, right. It could be. It could be. It's possible. Okay, now we get... Why is it pros- stuck to jackets? If, if the shell is in a real... Is, I mean, underwear. Going wear underwear. No, it underwear. has to be something. No, that's a chukas agayim. The rule of chukas agayim is that if there's a reason why you're wearing it, so then it's not chukas agayim. It's only if there's no reason. Right? So I saw in the Mishnah's Mulveras, they do, do taking truma with the strimals on. <laughs> yes. Yeah, everything is a strimal. Yes, 100%. Uh, yeah. Um, like a tie. A tie, I don't see. I don't know why it's not chukas agayim to wear a tie. There's no point in it. Right, his mom is no point. What, what about black hats? Well, why do we wear black hats? It's mom is not No, Yaakov, yeah, I always, the Amnon Nissan, like, is it, I, well, if I see him sometime by the three weeks, I always tell him, Amnon, you just have to take off your tie for Shabbos Chazor and your Yoytsu, all the sheet is just take off your tie. <laughs> right, because he wears the tie. See the shirt, he wears the tie. Yeah. Yes, that's it. <laughs> Um, uh, Twersky is a Twersky, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, his beard covers his tie, anyways. <laughs> <I> got, so, <laughs> okay, let's see. Right, there's a Hillel Hiskin Prusbal. So, Hillel was Masakin a Prusbal. So, it's interesting. Stam the spelling here. The Gemara here is doing it with a Samach, right? The, the conventional way of spelling it is usually with a Zion, right? Okay. So he was not going to prusbul. So Tananos, and what is a prusbul? Prusbul ain't a misham. And what it is, is that it makes shmita not wipe out loans. Because the din is that shmita, at the end of shmita, besides that the shmita is karka and eretz Yisrael, but in the whole world, anybody whose loans were not collected got wiped out at the end of shmita. Right? Now it's actually machlag is showing him if it was in the beginning of shmita or the end of shmita. We paskin that most paskin like it's the end, but from this, from some of these gemaras here, it's, I think we give him a diet that it's the beginning of shemitah. But anyways, so but this yeah, when you say in a mishama, we mean that you can't collect or that it's wiped out. Well, that's that's what we have to see now, right? Um, um, it it's not. A prusbal makes it that you, it doesn't wipe it out. That that's basically. No, that's I'm basically. saying, but I thought the whole issue was like you guys, and like you guys just means you can't collect it. But who says but Etzim is wiped out? Okay, good. So we're gonna see on number base. I, I thought that's what it's trying to do. It's trying to make it that you you could collect it, but it never was wiped out, even if you right. had, even if you didn't have a prisma. Because Correct. if it wipes it out, make a that prisma could stop that. Right. Exactly. Well, let's see. Let's see. It's mamish the whole sugi now. It's mamish. It's a gishmaka sugi here. Yeah. So let's see. So prisma ain't him a shamit. So prisma makes it that shmita does not. The word Shemitah, obviously the word Meshamit comes from the word Shemitah. So Prozbo makes it that Shemitah is not Shemitah, right? Meaning you're basically taking the mechanism what the Torah said Shemitah is, and you're just wiping it clean by making this Prozbo. What is a Prozbo? So let's see. So This is one of the things that Hillel Zagan was Mesachin. He saw that people were not lending money to each other, right? Because they were not 
they didn't, they were afraid they're not going to get paid back after they end the Shemitah. And they were over, and what it says in the Torah, you have to be careful that there shouldn't be in your heart a bad thought. Right? And then the, the, the Pasuk continues, uh, what is it? I thought when you loan money to someone, you have to make sure you're taking, you're giving it like you're not going to get it back. No, no, you're supposed to write a other rabbi. You're supposed to write a star so that the, you have proof. You're not supposed to lend money unless they actually write down that uh, that, uh-huh, you, uh-huh. that you took the loan. But yes, you really you, you can't pressure the guy to pay it back. But 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 we're you know you have to you can still you're entitled to get your money. But anyway, the pasuk says you're gonna you're, your your friend who needs the loan is going to call out to Hashem. And he's and it's going to be a chet on you that you're not lending him. So people stopped lending because they were afraid they're going to lose their loans at the end of Shemitah. And we know that if you don't have money lending, then the economy is just going to go kaput. What was the Torah thinking? When it, 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 I mean, what was the Torah's thought? Right. I'm saying in year 47. You know, yeah. Well, uh, and That's enough. Tali's asking a good question. A good question. Right, so Omar Vihiskin Prusbul. So he was Masakin a Prusbul. Vizel Gubish or Prusbul. What is the Prusbul? Which says basically like this Masrani Lachem Plaini Dayonin Shabakam Plaini. I'm handing over to you, you, Dayonin that are in this place. Shakol Chayv Shayeshli Eitzel Plaini. Any Chayv that I have by Plaini, Shag Venu, calls Mancha Ertza, that I can collect it whenever I want. But Dayonim Chayv Lamata and the Dayonim sign on the bottom, Oyha Edim or the Edim sign. So basically what Hillel was misakin is that the, you're handing the loan over to Bezdin and Bezdin's going to take care of the loans for you. And therefore, the Shemitah is not, uh, and Shemitah is not going to affect it if it goes to Bezdin. It's only private loans. So then the obvious question, umi komidi, is it possible? According to the Torah, this loan is nullified. It's gone. Not if it's a, Non-private loan, we just said. What? It's, not, it's a best, it's not a private loan. Right, but he's basically doing this shtick. He's giving it over. But he could, but the Torah says, no, he created this thing of the Bezdin. It's less shtick than the Chiris Hobbits. Oh, that, so that's a fallout from I, this whole... Yeah, I was thinking the, I, the exact same thing I said this morning. I, I like, I don't understand what meaning... What you, you, the, a personal loan is, is a problem, but the Bezdin collects it. So, well, what's the issue? Yes, so he made this shtick. What, what's he, what's his shtick? It's a legal loophole. What, what but he made up the legal loophole. It's halacha. What's wrong? Not Is it a legal loophole called shtick? No. It's not but shtick. It's not where does it, no. Where does it say in the Torah? Where does it say in the Torah uh, that that a Bezdin, that it's only uh, yeah. Naftali's calling it a commercial loan? Where does it where does it say in the Torah that a commercial loan doesn't have shmita? Hillel made that up. That's what it seems. Okay. And and the rabbanon have a right to do that. Well, then how can they do that though? According what to the, the rabbanon, of- rabbanon all over Shas, we have that the rabbanon were oiker, right? How are you allowed to be oiker kedushin? The kedushin took place. Shavuot Taisa. It's only right. It's only Shavuot Taisa. What does oiker mean? What does oiker mean? To uproot, to uproot something from the Torah. Right. Um, but we see it. We see it all over Shas. That, well, that, it's well, true. It's true. But you have to. Under, it has to fit. It has to fit into halacha, right? Now he couldn't just. I mean, I Hillel, don't understand. A guy lives with a lady for twenty years, and they're a bond, and that beer, a hot thousand, whatever times, and they're a bond. <laughs> I can all the beers say it's a beers north. It's all no good. It, I don't understand. But if we do that. It's not like Correct. we don't. It because like when you made the original Kedushin, it was Adas Rabbanon. What do you mean? I that's understand, but answer. things happen along the way here. There was BS along the way. What all of a sudden, so the Gemara says, no, it's a BS. That's not like a That's not like a Kedushin at all. Business. Business. The Gemara says, you did Adas Rabbanon. What do you mean? What are you? You're, you're saying that the Kedushin was never a Kedushin. <laughs> That's not Iker Dovah Menatayr. That's, 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 you did all that. Really? So really? Like, really? Nice. I want to ask you something. You're allowed to live with somebody who old for 20 years who you're not really married to? I don't understand. You allowed to live with somebody who old for 20 years who you're not really married to? I don't understand. You're allowed to live with somebody who old for 20 years who you're not really married to? I don't understand. You're allowed to live with somebody who old for 20 years who you're not really married to? I don't understand. You're allowed to live with somebody who old for 20 years who you're not really married to? I don't understand. You
You're wait, you're not allowed to. You're allowed to. You're allowed uh, you to live with someone for twenty years. Yeah, you, wedlock is fine, Midaras. I understand. Midera- but then you mean, but it still calls it snus, though. It still calls it snus. Yeah, it's, 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 One second. Let's call finish. it snus. The Torah doesn't call that snus. The Gemara says Bila snus, no? Listen, let's, can I, we finish I, the Gemara? I, I have a feeling that we can have this conversation. Everybody will stay on afterwards in the dark. This one, nobody's, uh, you know what I mean, going to log off. <laughs> if you anyway. want, we could just do a tape recorder, Parrots. And you don't have to even sit on the dock. First of all, you're, you're asking well, questions. Reserve, you're asking exactly, questions. Reserve, that's what we do every night. It's a tape recorder yeah. and it's recorded. And I get you're yelled at the next day why it takes so long. Jacob, <laughs> they're all asking questions as every they have a second wife. It's not an issue for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Very good, Simba. Anyway, um, so let, let's finish the sugya. Right, but the bottom line is the Gemara hasn't yet said what mechanism Hillel was using to stop, to, to make, to stop Shemitah. But that we're going to get to on base. But right now, essentially, what he did do is that Minatoira, the loan is null and void, and he kicked it back in. So, how could he do that? So, Amarabaya says, He's only talking about Shemitah, Bismanazeh, right? Verebi, we're going to the Rebbe, the Tani Rebbe, Oimer Vizet, Dvara Shemitah, Shomot. Right, this is the word of what this is what Shemitah is all about. That it's going to show it wipes things clean. Beshtei Shemitahs hakasim b'davar. The pasuk is talking about two different types of Shemitahs: Acha Shemitahs Karka, Acha Shemitahs Ksafim. One is Shemitahs Karka, which only applies in Eretz Yisrael, and one is the Shemitah of Ksafim of loans, which applies everywhere. So b'sman shat the Meshamet Karka to Meshamet Ksafim when we're in Eretz Yisrael, and the Karka, the Shemitah of the Karka is working. So then. The Shemitah of Kesef also works. When there is no Shemitah of Karka, then then the Ksafim doesn't work either. Right? I don't tell my base. But the Kino Rabbanon, the Zechel Shviyas, the Rabbanon were Mesakin that we still have to keep Shemitah, even though there's no base on Mikdash, as a Zechel. Bismana which says is, forever? Until we get back, what well, we're going to see, and really it's until. We get back to majority of Klai Yisrael getting back to Eretz Yisrael, right? But this is very important because every Shaila of Shemitah, right? We're still dealing with Shemitah Shailas, at least those in Eretz Yisrael, because all the fruits that are out there now, not all, but many, are still Shemitah fruits. But at the end of the day, Bisman Azeh, Shemitah's Dirabonon, right? So, so again, so the Rabbonon were Mesach, and then we keep Shemitah as the way Rashi says it, Shaloi Tishtakach Toiras Shviyas. Right, that it shouldn't be forgotten that there's such a thing as Shemitah. So Ra Hillel Shinim Numa Omil Avlin so Zeze. So Shmu so Hillel saw, okay, because of this Zecher for Shemitah, people are, are stopping to lend money, which is in it's a Daraisa. Ahmad Vihiskin Prusbal, so he was Masak and a Prusbal. So basically, what what like like with every other time we have these situations, in the Havamina, we thought that Hillel was messing with it, it's a Daraisa. And now the Gemara is saying, no, he wasn't messing with the rice. He's messing with this is the Rabbanon, right? Because nowadays Shemitah is only a the Rabbanon. So since it's a the Rabbanon, the Rabbanon have Rishus to, I call it mess with it, just to, for clarification's sake. The Rabbanon have Rishus to adjust and it's a the Rabbanon, right? That's the way the Gemara is saying the Lamda. So he's not playing with the Raisa. He's playing with the Rabbanons. Now it's it's a Zecher for for like uh, Shriyas. Now there's an interesting Taisis, the second Taisis here on Amr Beis. So how come there's no Zecher for, for Yoival? Right? We don't keep Yoival nowadays. L'chol Adeis, nobody keeps Yoival, right? Yoival is every 49th, every 50th year, or 49th year, depending on how you hold. Whatever it is, after seven Shemitahs, there's Yoival. How come we don't have Yoival as a Zecher? So Taisis says, because that... We would we would pick one. There's a big machlaik is exactly when it is, but we would have one at least as a zecher, as far as I know, at least the way Tyson's is saying. So Tyson says you can't do it for two years to make people not use their land for two years as a zecher is too much. That's a fascinating Tyson. That's ain roif The tzibu will not be able to be to 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 withstand such a thing. Yeah. The Chazaynish holds that it's, it's the Durabanan. The he held it's Durabanan and it's Soma. Uh, I don't know. Look. And 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 now we don't. They don't do two years now. Yoyvul. 
No. We don't do Yavel. No, there's no no Yavel. No there's no, no Yavel. Until until Rav of Klai Yisrael moves into Eretz Yisrael, then maybe Yavel could theoretically come back or all these things. But anyways, so that's so basically what the Gemara is saying now is that Hill was only adjusting at the Rabbanon. So Gemara says, okay, so now turn it on its head. Is it possible that Midaraisa Shviyas does not does not um, ruin the loans because we said there's no shmita? And now the Rabbanon saying that it it is going to get rid of the loans? Unless you do a principle? Well, what? How do they say it's going to get rid of the loan? Meaning, meaning right now, Midaraisa, he has to pay back the loan. Right. 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 Now the Chachamim come along, right? It's and a, said, meaning the Chachamim that said that we have to keep it as a Zecher. Not bef- before the Prusbal step, uh-huh. right? What happened? Essentially what happened is, is that Midai Rai said there's no Shemitah, because unfortunately we don't have the base of Mikdash, Midai Rai said there's no Shemitah. So therefore, when a guy borrows money from his friend, he's got to pay it back. Come along the Chachamim and say, as a Zecher for the base of Mikdash, you don't have to pay it back. How can they do that? Right? How can they do that? Meaning the step before the principal. How did the Chacham have the power to tell a guy, oh, you don't have to pay back the loan. I'll tell Zecher with the base of Mikdash. What do you mean? He has to pay back the loan, which is very interesting because if you read the what so let's say he doesn't pay back the loan. Based on the Chachamim, a guy's going to be a Gazlan. Now, didn't we have a few days ago that we were that if a guy doesn't pay back a loan, he's not, he's not even on Avera? No, does anybody remember that? I, I know we I know we discussed it. I just don't remember. Rashi what, literally think, says in the next Rashi, it's Mitzvah the first is Chayva. Yes, but we had too. we had something that we were diak, like why wasn't the guy over on an Isser if he doesn't pay back the loan? We did. But the Gemara seemed to have said that there's when no you Isser. Somebody you you gave up on it really recently. Oh, you you Was that a loan? Yeah, it was a loan. I remember thinking because I lent somebody money, and never saw money back from it. I, yeah, I know that we discussed it, yeah. that most loans nowadays yeah. don't get paid back. We discussed it with the Meiser, right? Yeah, it's like it a week ago week. Yeah. with, uh, right, very good, Naftali. We were discussing it with the Trumas and Meisers, if the guy wanted to pay back the loan. The way he made the loan, he structured the loan, that he's going to take the Trumas and Meisers from his field. And he's going to, somehow in there, we came out, there was a deal that you weren't be over anything. Okay, I don't know. Okay, you're Michael it, over there, no? <laughs> That over there, you're Michael. It sounded like there was a Yish. Yeah, there's Yish, whatever it is. It's not definitely. But see, Akub, why does Rashi call him a Gazan, though? At best, you're a Ganet. You definitely, you, but you, there's no Vayikan because of a Chanis when it comes to uh, a Chayim. Um, yeah. I hear you. I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm saying at best, you're a Ghana when you when you don't pay somebody back. No, you can't be a Gazan. Okay, yeah. You mean you want to you you want to use? Uh, it's Rashi himself who says defines it that way. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't know exactly what he means, but that well, that's the Gemara's kasha. The Gemara's kasha is how can the Chachamim now say that the guy doesn't have to pay back a loan? So I'm Rabbi Yeshev Al Tasahu. Here you go. There's a major line right here, and it's Negea this year Rosh Hashanah that we're not blowing Shaifer. Right, this year Rosh Hashanah is on Shabbos first day. First day Sukkot is on Shabbos, so therefore we're not. The Chachamim knocked out the mitzvah daraisa of Tkiyah Shoifer, and the Chachamim knocked out the one mitzvah daraisa to take lulav and esrog is the first day, and they knocked it out. How can they knock it out? Because we're afraid we're going to carry on Shabbos, right? How can they do that? So this is the Gemara's answer. Sheval Tasa, they're allowed to do it. Meaning they're not making you proactively be over on this. So that the Chachamim can't make you do. But to tell you to sit on your chair and not do a mitzvah, that they have the power to do. Meaning you're not being over on an Avera. You're just not doing a mitzvah. That power, that much power the Chacham have. Right? And the same thing, that he doesn't pay back his loan. That's a Sheva Tasa. Yeah? And then Rashi says, referring to Shoi for Lula. Yeah? Because it's not an Akira B'yadayin. They're not telling you to actually go not do a mitzvah. They're just telling you, sit on your chair and don't do the mitzvah. That they're allowed to do. So would okay. you be oiv if you picked up the shoifah and then put it right. by your mouth and put it down? 
and you'd but be a dime you didn't blow. You mean you just you just use your lips to blow without holding it? No, well that, well that, no, you didn't. No, blow, you pick it up and then you, you put it you down. You didn't blow, blow, but you did a mice to show that you're not blowing. I picked up three minim. Right. And I Dafka didn't bench Lula because I only have three minim, but I picked them up. And I walked around and made a coffee in the base magic, but I didn't that's that's finish. not the same as the chauffeur. Whatever, however you want to set it up, set it up the same as the chauffeur. Why? Well, what? Not a big deal. Oh, so so I think what you're asking is basically, is there Rubik Vegar over here? Uh, no, none it? of us are even close. No, but <laughs> I thought it was Rubik Vegar, but it's not. Oh yeah. It's, yeah, Rebbe Kivager, um goes, you see the Gillian Ashas. No, it's not that Rebbe Kivager. Where is it? Uh, I thought it was Rebbe Kivager. Somebody says that it's, it's, it has to be at the same time. Maybe it was, maybe it was later. Maybe it was on Hamadala. I don't know. Okay. But, yeah, so then, uh, yeah, the question is, can you, can you if you somehow not going to be accurate, then not bapi your dime. Yeah, fine. Um, okay, so then Rava Omar, now Rava says, the Rava, um, the way Rashi understands this terrace, what's Rava coming to say? So you think normally Rava and Abaya are always having machloiks, and so Abaya was just coming to answer the last kasha, right? Um, so Rava's also, Rashi um, doesn't really seem to say that, that that's what's going on. Um, Rashi is saying, We're talking Meaning, we had a machlaik is whether Shmita is the Raisa nowadays or the Rabbana. Right? So Rav is saying, there's, there's no kashas because Hefker, Bezdin, Hefker. We have a rule that when Bezdin, that the Chacham have the power to bake anything Hefker. Right? So Mamela, you're allowed to the Chachamim can can make any loan or any any sort of financial uh, anything hefker, right? So therefore, they have the power minatayra. They have the power to make things uh, uh, uprooted. Yeah, and it means that it's not they have that power, and that's not called uprooting it. That's basically what you have to say. It. Rav Amar, Hefker, Bezdin, Hefker. Domer of Yitzchak, Minayin, She Hefker, Bezdin. Hefker, how do you know that Bezdin, Hefker, Bezdin? Hefker, Shanev, Bechol, Asher, Lo Yavu, L'Shoy, Shes, Yom, Ka'atzas, Hasorim, Vaskenim. Right? And nobody, and anybody who doesn't come with three days, like the, the Sarmans, can say, Yecharam, Kol Ruchushoy, they're going to put anything that he has into Cherem, Hu Yavdu, Mikahal, Hagoyla, and he's going to be separated from the rest of the Kehila. Right? This is talking about this is talking about by when they're coming back from the Golas Bavel. So a lot of Yidin were unfortunately married to Goyim. So basically they told them, if you guys don't get rid of your non-Jewish wives, we're making everything Hefker and you're going to be banished from Klai Yisrael. How do they have the Koyach to do that? Right? So you see, because it's Hefker, Bez, and Hefker. Would Bez can do whatever they want. Rebbe says he has a different source of Hefker, Bez, and Hefker. Right? What's the Indian of heads next to of us? Right? Why doesn't it just say Rashi says for Rashi the heads of the the what do you call it? The Shvatin. Uh, Fathers can give as an inheritance whatever they want to their kids. Af Rashim. So the heads of Kla Yisrael, Manchil and Amis, Haom, Komashi Yitzu, they can give us an inheritance to Kla or whatever they want. So basically, the Chachamim have this power over everybody's property and everybody's finances, and they could basically do whatever they want. So since that, that since they have that permission, so therefore it is, it's, it's, they're not being Iker. I mean, really, they are being Iker something from the Torah, but the Torah gives them that wherewithal. They're not really being Iker the Torah, they're being Iker the finances. Right? Okay. However, you understand that it's not, it's not such an easy thing to understand Hefker Bez and Hefker. Fine. 
So then he boils that he had a shy Lakias can hill a prusbal when his hill was misak and prusbal dare who did talk was he misak in it for his dar? I do a dare amanami talking. Did he mean it forever? Right? Maybe only hill decided for his dar because his dar was having a hard time lending, but for other daris, maybe not. So he says, Lamai nafkamina, what's the difference whether it was for that dar, right? Levatule, right? Are you saying it because well, well can we be mavatal this whole din of the prusbal? Yeah, meaning the way Rashi says it, let's say people get frumer and they don't stop and they continue lending. So do we have the right to say no more prusbul? All right. So he are the dari who did talk in Mavatlinale. If we just say that Hillel was misakin for his dar and then the subsequent dairas kept it, but he really only meant it for his dar, so then we can nix it. If we feel it's not necessary anymore, we can nix it. But if you say that Hillel really meant to be misakin it for forever, one Bezdin cannot come along to be Vatal another Bezdin. Elim can Godal Imana Bachachum of Minion, unless it's bigger than them in their brains and in Minion and the amount of people. So some say amount of people means age, and well, some say it means amount of people. Some say it just means it has to be older. Either way, so we never older, hold that a new. Older. In generation, that's, that's, like later generation can never do it if they're previous. Right. No, usually we say that no later generation is going to uproot okay. with something, something from previous generations because they're not, they don't meet the qualifications. Whatever it is, so that's the Gemara Shiloh. Yeah. So Tashima, Dharma Shmuel, like us being in Prusbul, Ali Bebeidina, the Surah Ibebeidina Dana, the only get written in Surah or Nada. Right. Um, which is Rav and Shmuel's Bezdin. And if you say that Hill was massacring it for everybody, Bishar Beidina Nami Lichtavu. So then let that also let them also write it in the other Bate Din. Meaning, if Hill was saying it that's for future generations, so then they, Rav and Shmuel are not going to be around in the future generations. Right? So so then why are you saying that you can only write a prusbul by Rav and Shmuel's Bezdin? Right? Wouldn't that be uh, right the other way? What do you mean? How are they still writing principles? Oh, you're saying because they, they weren't they weren't Hachshir? They were they still weren't Kashi, you're saying? They yeah. just didn't they were Mavatali. Well they, yeah, right. So let's see the terrace. It says the Dilma. Meaning it can't be in Rav and Shmuel specifically, right? Because were they around by Hill? Hill has Zakin? No way. Right. Hill's like right. lived in the second bias. So, so what is so what does this mean? That's why I wasn't sure. So the Vard is because they weren't they were in Kashi still. No, People so the way still Rashi, Seems like Rashi's, Rashi's understanding it that as long as the Bezdin has the same power that Hillel's Bezdin had, Senan could do it. So that was Robin Shmuel's Bezdin. But everybody else's Bezdin is a no go. What does the boy should do with this? Right. Arguing <laughs> yeah. So anyway, so that's what it's saying. So meaning, therefore, if it's if if it was future generations, then any Bezdin should be able to do it. So this I was saying only Robin Shmuel must be. He only meant it. For specific, um, but they did. So, um, so answers no Dilma keep talking Hillel Dari Alma, right? Rehill was really misogyny forever. Could go in Beidina the day, but only has to be similar to his type of Bezdin who could Rav Ami Ravasi, like Rav Ami Ravasi's Bezdin, Dalimi Lafkub Memona, that they were strong enough to be able to get money out of people. Avalakule Alma Loi, but for other places, they're not. Fine. They have to, you have to, you have to, you have to, in order to give over the loan to a Bezdin and, and implement this Hefker Bezdin, Hefker it has to be a legitimate Bezdin that really has power. So another Raya, Toshima, Domer Shmuel, Ha'prusbala, Ulbano, Dedainihu. See, so here you see that you think that uh, all the rabbis are on the same page with the Prusbal. Here, Shmuel's clearly not happy with it. He says, Ha'prusbala, Ulbano, Dedainihu. This Prusbal is like a chutzpah. Well, the Gemara is going to ask exactly what Ulbano means. But whatever it is, it's not a positive. He's not being, he's not happy with the Prusbul. Ia Yashir Chayel, right? Peretz, Yashir Koyach, right? Same thing. Ia Yashir Chayel, if I would be able to strengthen my, my fighting, Avatlina, I would have been Mavatal the Prusbul. So when it says Avatlina, how can, he, how can Shmuel be Mavatal the Prusbul? Shmuel was way after Hillel Zakin. So how could it be that he would be Mavatal the Prusbul? So you see, Elamai, um, that Hillel, the reason why 
Shmuel could theoretically have done it is because Hillel was only misakin for his dar. So therefore, after that, it wasn't really a takon of Hillel that Shmuel's overruling. So when it says, no, if I would get, if I would be strong enough, more than Hillel, then I would be mevatalit. Right? He's not saying that he would have. He's saying, if I would have had that power, then I would have done it. Fine. Rav Nachman, Omar Akamina, Rav Nachman says, he disagrees with Shmuel. Shmuel was saying he was not happy with the Prusal. Rav Nachman was saying, I would have been Mekayim the Prusal. So the Gemara says, I, came in, I, would have, I would have been Mekayim and Mekayim Bekayim. It was. It was Mekayim. What is it Rav Nachman saying that he would have made sure the Prusal stayed? It did stay. So the Gemara says, Gemara, be milsa the loy kasav kasav dami. He said, I would have said something that um, even though it's not written anywhere, I, that you would still, it's as if it's written. Meaning, even if we we're saying that the way to do a prusbal is to write a star that you're handing over your loans to Bezdin, Rav Nachman is saying he would have been, he's so pro prusbal that even if a guy didn't write a prusbal, he would say that it's it's all good. Fine. So you want to ask, Ibailu, hi, Ulbana. Why, Yaakov, just a yeah. question on Shmuel. Why did Shmuel think it was such a chutzpah if, if there's no Shemitah nowadays anyways? Why did he think the whole reason why you're able to have a shmat is only didn't do anyways? What's the chutzpah? The chutzpah is the other way. Make taste if you not to pay pay a chayv. So rabbanon were misakin zeicher. Why is it a chutzpah? I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. I would say it's, it's a chutzpah. The guy's not paying his loans back. Well, he doesn't have to. So why shouldn't he? Uh, yeah, but it's only a zeicher. It's not. It's it's, it's not a chutzpah. The rabbanon are. are Putting back to way. Uh, okay, so let's well, see how we uh, tie just. Okay, so maybe you're uh, pro uh, not tie. No, it's it. only putting it back to the original din. Yeah. Um, let's see. Let's let's see what the Gemara. Maybe maybe you'll, you'll be pro not using that word. Let's say Ibaylu. Hi, open a lishna de chutzpahu. Is the lashon of chutzpah a lishna de nichusahu, or is it a lashon of nichusa? Nichusa means to be calm, to rest. Right. Meaning, the way Rashi says it is that. It wasn't a, it's either, if you say it means chutzpah, so it was a chutzpah to do the prosbul. Or you could say it was, they were doing it in order to take it easy on Bezdin. Right? Um, because if they wouldn't have had this Shemitah, you know what would have been going on in Bezdin? That's the way I think I understand Rashi. Is they, no, people would have gone running to Bezdin to try and get Bezdin to collect the loans before the end of Shemitah. It would have been totally insane what would be going on there. So they did it. In order to take it easy on Bezdin, that's that's the other way of understanding what Shmuel's complaint was about the Prusvel. So Toshim again, it's either chutzpah or that they did it to make their lives easier. So Toshima, Damar Ula, Aluva, Kala, Shezinza, Bekerev, Chupasa. We said that it's embarrassing that when a Kala is Mazana, when she's still by her chupa. Now, chupa doesn't mean the way our chupa is, it means when she's still like the initial Shanari Shina, whatever it is. Right? So what's this, what's this referring to? It's referring to Klai Yisrael that did the Egel. They had just gotten married to the Rabbani Shalom, right? We call it a marriage. And then they go and did the Egel. So that was a major chutzpah. So that's where the word Aluv is coming from. Fine. Amar Amari Bra Bra De Ba Shmuel Maikra Ad Shalom Ad Shahamelech Be Mesibai Nir Di Nosan Reichai When the king was still by his Mesiba, right? They went down and they and uh, and gave gave uh, smell off, which is perfume, right? Amar Rava, a dying chavivusa who gabon. There was still, of uh, there's still like an initial love there. The chiv nosan, but like chiv esriach, and it doesn't say that it, they it would decayed. Meaning, even though Kla Yisrael rebelled, and it's as if they were mezana with uh, they were giving off their reach of znus. Even when they're still in their initial relationship, but he still, still, he could have used the lashon of of his riach that the relationship decayed. He doesn't say that. So that, he, that in Nasan it was given. Fine. So Torah Rabbanon Hanelovin Ve'enon Olvin. So this is a major. I don't know if we had this in Marcha I think we did already. Those that um, get, um, I guess, yelled at Ve'enon Olvin and don't. Do anything back, or they hear people yell at them or embarrass them and they don't answer back. 
And if they do the mitzvahs with love, and they're happy with suffering. And those that love Hashem is like the when the sun comes out in all its strength. That's how strong. Um, that, that's how strong, I guess, the relationship between the, between them and the Rabbi Shalom. Right. Um, let's just do a few more lines because it uh, gets that out of the way. I'm not looking to get out of the way, but my prosbul. Where does the word prosbul come from? Amar Rav Chista, price buli ubuti. It says that it's pr- uh, price. See, Rashi here. It's interesting. Rashi here uses a Zion, right? It's a takana of the buli and the buti. Right on on top of Allah, Buli Elu Ashirim, Buli are the rich people. To save and Shavati is going Uzchem, and Emetani Rabbi Yosef Elu Bulois Shav Yehuda, and that's referring to the Bulois, the wealthy people of Yehuda. Buti Elu Aniim to save Havi Tavitenu that you should uh, um, you should lend, right? Amarle Rava Lelazos, and Rava said to people who were. Who were laws, like they weren't the locals. My prusbal, Amalei, Pursa de Milsa, it means that you fix that you fix it, you adjust something. Meaning, so the point is that according to the first shot, prusbal means that it was a tikkun for uh, for the rich and for the poor. Right? And the second shot was that it's a uh, prusbal is that you're fixing, you're fixing something. Meaning there was something that was broken, and they went along and they fixed it yeah all right we shall stop here sure. all right all right yeah good enough i missed the last uh, night i made a void for my youngest daughter and oh uh, yeah mazel tov yeah the, the, the family's the briar family i met them like 42 years ago with your